Okay, we're holding 164, second paragraph. <coughs> he says a person when he has some kind of reversal, financial reversal, or physical ailment, or a mishap happens to him, a person doesn't realize the value of that, as he explained, because the value is to be omid bin nisoyim, is to meet the, meet the test, and that is the greatest favor to the person. In addition, he says, people that have short memories, a person has 10 good years, then he has a reversal. So he's upset. God, what are you doing to me? What about if Hashem wouldn't have given you the 10 good years? That you were able to benefit and thrive and do many things which were enjoyable. And all the glory you got because of it. All of a sudden, you have the reversal, you're upset. What about what God provided until now that you don't remember? It's like people, you know, you, you do a person a favor, a favor, and then the person asks you, and he says, I'm sorry, I can't do it any longer. The person gets upset at him, and he becomes his arch enemy. You know? Very often happens. What about all the good, all the years that I did for you? If I would have chosen initially not even to get involved, well, you, you'd have no claim against me. But if you help me till now, why can't you continue helping? I can't. But if you can help yourself, why can't you help me? I mean, that's the way people, that's the way their minds work. And they get upset. And people get upset, identically with HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Ki heim v'chol asher lehem tov sheitiv lehem abori nedov v'chesed v'goz v'hem tzedek fi mashe chiva chokhmoso v'kotz v'hirot sitko lehem and people, they fall short of recognizing how God dealt with them until now. And they don't praise Him when God's chesed comes upon them. And their foolishness caused them to deny the goodness and the one, the benefactor. Hear this? He says, Ignis may even bring many of them to assume that they are wiser than he in regard to his acts and various created things which he created for their benefit. You know, people say, you know, if I would be doing it, I'd be doing it differently. You know, people, people, maybe they don't verbalize it. God, I don't understand why you're doing it. What do you mean you don't understand why you're doing it? Evidently, if, God, if you believe God is doing it, so he's doing it for a reason. And he understands better than you understand. But if you, you get stuck there and say, but I still don't understand, so then there's a problem. I mean, in a person's own mind, if you don't understand, you have a problem. That means you understand better than God understands. He says, What is it analogous to people who are blind? This is phenomenal. A person brings a blind man into a house. All the amenities are in place, one of a kind, in terms of a structure. And everything is put in place to be fully effective to be able to maximize on the benefit of whatever is there. And it's been perfected in the most special way that you could benefit and have pleasure and benefit. And the intent was <coughs> everything in their interest. But the person goes in he's blind. And also it's provided that you have all the medications which have to be put into the eye, the eye ointments and the most expert ophthalmologist to be able to give the person the ability to seek, to be able to benefit from what's, what's provided. To better their eyesight. They miss Almo Measo Perfuse name. So what are these pe blind people going? Rather than going to the doctor and ask him to apply the various therapies or medications to give him the ability to see 
and then go into the house and benefit and maximize on what you're able to benefit from this edifice that was provided and built for you, they didn't listen to the doctor. Asher Ho Yimisasi person who was attending to their their medical needs. So they went into the house. Not in a good situation because they were blind. So they're blind, they're groping there in the dark. They fall and they get injured. All this that's before them, if they'd only see, they'd be able to benefit and maximize on it in the most exceptional way. But rather than listening to the doctor, his therapies, how to be able to see, to benefit from everything that was built and, and created on their behalf, they ignore the doctor. People were wounded, people had broken bones. They have tremendous pain. And the troubles, he says, are compounded. And they have tremendous complaints against the builder or the architect who built this, this structure on their behalf. And they began to criticize him in the most extreme way. And they understood in their, in their own mind that he's falling short of his responsibility to them, to them and he's a bad leader. He's leading them down the wrong path. His intent is definitely not a good intent. It's not to do kindness with them. You brought him into this location. They should be pained and they should be hurt and damaged. And because of their pain and suffering and their blindness, what do they do? They deny the goodness of the Balabais and the Ches that he provided. In the path that the fool takes, he chooses to walk, his heart is lacking. And he calls everybody a fool except for himself. You understand? If he'd be able to see, he'd see what, what, what's available to him. And I was able to benefit continuously, and he sees the kindness. You know, it's like a person um, wanted to go on the, on the Titanic. And he was envious of anybody who was able to go. And he says, sorry, all the tickets are sold. And God knows that the ship is, is going to sink. And this man wants to go, God, I've been a philanthropist, I've been this, I've been that. Why are you denying me this glory, this benefit, this pleasure? But the man is blind. Rather than understanding whatever God does is in his best interest, he doesn't understand it. But if he'd understand it, would he feel God is painting him? The pain is self-inflicted pain here. Because of his foolishness, not trusting God, he's pained that he's being denied. Only later does he realize the only reason why he's alive is because he didn't get on that boat. But it's life continuous. Because nothing that God does to us in our lives is to hurt us, but even the pain has benefit. But if a person is blind, and you fall and you injure yourself, so why, why, why are you injured? It's like it's, it's a, a self-inflicted inj injury. That's what it is. Because you may not be able to Firstly, for many reasons. We ask not to be tested, correct? Yeah. Why, why don't you want to be tested? But if you, it says, from Agra, if you withstand the test, the accomplishment is greater. Because you never know if you're going to make it through. You never know if you're going to make it through. And if you fail, it's a problem. So we say, you know something, I prefer not to have the more. Let me just be on a steady course rather than be tested and fail. That's number one. Secondly, Yisurim, Yisur, what's the value of Yisurim? It's to, so the Rabbi Yosef Yisurim have or one of two contexts, either to alert you that there's a problem, it's like a fever, a person has a fever, to alert you that there's a problem, or sometimes it's an atonement. That's what suffering is. But you know something, we could work it out differently. If a person does tshuva and does other, you say, Hashem, we don't, we don't, you don't have to have a suffer. Let us try to work it out differently. But let's say a person believes he doesn't want to work it out. He wants to have the cake and eat it, and he's not, he's not going to work it out. Hashem says, have no choice but, but to give you suffering because you're not going to be rehabilitated unless you suffer. Or you're not going to come to a sense of, of uh, a semblance of understanding unless you suffer. 
So the Avar Shem causes you to suffer. Maybe yes, maybe not. Maybe yes, maybe not. No, the Gemara says. The Gemara says the rubber, his wine never soured. He never had a bad day in his life. And his colleagues, they started to wonder. It's, it's unheard of. You know, maybe it's, it's all a facade. He looks like the tzaddik. He seems to be this. But maybe he's not. Maybe Hashem is paying him off in this world. Because Hashem only pays off the Russia in this world. And that's why he doesn't have a bad day. And the moment they had that thought, immediately all his wine soured. To indicate that no, that he is the tzaddik. Understand? The truth is, he was that special tzaddik. But who ever heard of such a thing? It's unheard of. So Hashem caused his wine to, to, to sour for them to understand that no, that, that he, he is that special tzaddik. To be continued.